Hello and welcome back to episode four of the Altius Images Drone Positive Podcast. I'm Todd Dudley and I'm the founder and director of Altius Images. As a drone pilot, the negative press that drones receive annoys me no end. This podcast is trying to change the negative public perception of our multi-rotated friends one positive story at a time. There are plenty of stories out there that show just how amazing drones can be, and I'll be bringing you one of those stories each week. So let's fly into some positivity and see just how amazing drones are. This week, we have a lovely story from Lethbridge, Alberta in the USA, and it is from 2017. It involves professional falconer and wildlife consultant Steve Schwartz and an injured falcon who was unable to fly. So Steve was brought this bird by a farmer who found it on its field, and unfortunately it suffered a very bad injury to the shoulder, and it had very nearly died. Fortunately for the bird, Steve is an expert at what he does, and he has lots of experience rehabilitating birds back to full strength. So he spent the next four months with the injured falcon, trying to get it back to full strength, undergoing lots and lots of rehab, This is where the interest from our point of view comes in. Part of his rehabilitation program uses the help of a drone. Now, if you have ever flown a drone yourself, or if you've gone down a drone YouTube rabbit hole, uh, you'll probably know that usually drones and birds don't mix particularly well. There are lots of videos out there of birds not reacting very well to these intruders in their skies, and they'll often attack them or swarm them uh, just because they're so unfamiliar with them and they're not exactly sure what they are this has happened to me a couple of times i've had seagulls i've had pigeons going for my drone Uh, they quickly realize that a they probably don't want to be attacking it and b and b that it's not trying to cause them any harm Uh, but nonetheless they do still go for it every now and again having said that bird trainers are starting to use them more and more to train their birds uh, which makes a lot of sense gives you a lot of control Um, but for rehabilitating a wild bird this was pretty new ground Uh, but it's something steve does quite a bit now Now, when he got the bird in to start with, he was worried that it might not work with this bird. And he said that when he took her out for the first day, she was so weak that she could barely get off the ground. So obviously not a great start, not looking particularly positive. But fortunately, Steve's great work and the drone's great work both came into their own to help this falcon. So how did the drone actually help? Well, how it works is that Steve attaches a piece of food, which is attached to a parachute, to the underside of the drone. This then becomes the training target for the falcon. So Steve flies the drone wherever he wants it to be, and the bird goes for the food. This is so helpful, particularly for rehabilitation, because the pilot, in this case Steve, can control the height and the speed of the drone as much as they want to. This means it's much easier to build the bird's strength back up gradually, rather than just throwing it out into the wild and hoping it's going to be okay. So, for example, on the first day, Steve actually just had the food dragging along the ground, rather than being in the air, so that the falcon hardly had to fly at all, hardly had to get get off the ground, but this was just a way to start building up that strength as much as possible. Steve says he's had great success with this process. He says the falcons he's tried it with instinctively fly at the bait, obviously because they want to eat it, which makes a lot of sense, and they snatch it from the drone and then enjoy their little treat. Now, as we sort of mentioned earlier, Steve suggests that being able to build up the falcon strength in a gradual and controlled manner gives the bird a much better chance when it's released back into the wild. So you can start with it dragging along the ground, then the next day you can go a little bit higher, then a little bit higher, and keep going until the bird's back to full strength. This control and precision isn't something you'd be able to get with anything else. So the drone here makes a massive difference to how quickly and effectively these falcons can gain back their strength. And this is the Drone Positive Podcast, so of course there is a positive ending. After four months of rehab, and nearly 12 months after the initial injury, the bird was released back into the wild, ready and raring to go. So again, just another short story, just like last week, but an extremely positive story and one that shows, yet again, how amazing drones can be. If you'd like to read the full story and see a video of Steve talking about releasing the bird back into the wild after its rehab, check the link in the description below for that. But that about does it for episode four of the Altius Images Drone Positive Podcast. Thank you very much for listening. Do subscribe to the podcast if you want to. Uh, We'll be here every single Monday with more positivity and we're hoping to have some interviews with some people in the industry coming up as well so keep an eye out for those it'd be great if you could follow us on social media at altius images and if you could share the podcast that would be amazing as well thank you very much for listening and we will see you next week fly safe folks bye bye